Hi, you're watching Nail Tech Secrets today and today I'm going to be doing some 3D flowers. So I'm starting by adhering some gemstones so I can work my flowers around these. Now I'm starting with my flowers. I'm taking a small, relatively dry bead, placing it around the first gemstone, clearing off my brush. I'm placing two at a time. If you're new to this, probably just do one at a time, but I'm working quite dry, so I have a little bit of time. Always leave it for a second first before trying to manipulate it, just to allow it to polymerize. So then I'm literally just pressing my brush into that bead using the tip to create the tip of the petal and then kind of fanning it out. So you'll see there as I do the next ones, it's the same process, placing them bead number one, wiping my brush, bead number two, again wiping my brush. I've let that set for a few seconds and then just really gently press my brush into the flower creates that lovely round petal. And at this point, because it is drier, it's quite easy to manipulate. So my room was a little bit cooler today, so I had a little bit more play time, so I've just gone back and just adjusted those flowers just a touch. So the rest of the process is the same. I've left that on so you can have a watch of it all the way through. Again, I'm doing two beads at a time. You may want to do one at a time just when you're starting out, just to give you that time to work with. If you work a little bit drier, it'll set a little bit quicker too, so bear that in mind too. So we're coming towards the end of the video now. Again, same process with this flower, two beads, shape your petal. It's such a simple, easy, effective tool and it can make a really, really beautiful nail that really will wow your clients. If you've liked what you've seen today, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and drop a comment in the box if there's any other tutorials you'd love to see. Also make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye now.